For this demo, I'm going to execute this sample functional test script from the command line. Before we start the execution, we need to know these three mandatory parameters. Uh, first one is a jar file location, second one is data store location, and third one is the playback uh, name of the script. To get the jar file location, go to your installation directory and proceed to the bin directory of a functional test store. So this is the jar file that we are going to use in the parameter. To get the data store location, go to your function test project, right click on properties, that will show you the two data store location. For playback option, copy the script name without extension. Once you have these three mandatory parameters ready, you can execute the command here. That will start the execution. Playback is started. It has opened the application. So the last test log has been generated, which means the execution has been completed. And you can find the more details here in the command line text. Now we will see how to execute a web UI test from the command line. To run a web UI test uh, from the command line, there are two options, either uh, using a config file path or we can execute dot by giving these three parameters, Eclipse Home, Workspace and Project Name, uh, along with the suite name. So let's see, the easiest way is to uh, generate the config file and then give using executed using the config file path. So how do we generate the config file? So in your web UI test perspective, right click on your test and click on create command line config file, enter your config file path, name of the config, click next. These are the optional parameters. If you'd like to add them, uh, you can add. Otherwise, click on finish with the default options that will generate the config text file and copy the uh, path of this text file. Unlike functional test, to execute a web UI test from command line, you should be on this directory. You can add a command from your exi existing command prompt or you can navigate to this folder and then you can execute your command. Before executing your command, make sure to close your workspace. So I'm going to close the tool and execute the command. Once uh, it started, you can verify the parameters you passed. Eclipse Home Workspace Project and name of this test. And once everything is all right, you can see this message parameters accepted starting the test run. Now the test will start the execution. It will open a, open up your browser, start uh, executing the recorded user actions. At the end of the execution, all the browsers will be closed and you can see the test run status. Here um, in this command line text, you can see the time taken to complete the test. So this is how we can uh, execute a web UI test with the config file path. And there is another way uh, where we can pass along all these parameters and execute them. So these are the uh, basic parameters needed to execute a web UI test or a functional test, but you can find more details for the other parameters, optional parameters in the uh, documentation. Hope the session was helpful. Thanks for watching this video.